In other words, one last solution that you and I talked about uh, that they came up with, and that was affirming each other and accountability. Talk about that. Uh, in affirming and accountability, we had divided them in different groups. So we had five groups. And after we had done, finished on Friday, they were like, you know what, we can keep our groups till December. And when you come back, we want to tell you how we have been ac accountable to each other, how we have discipled each other, how we have shared the word of God, how we have corrected and just staying in healthy relationships. And when somebody is veering off, because now drug abuse has become rampant in the area, so they are able to hold you accountable. And if there is the urge, just call one of your team members or just look for them because they know each other. So that was a big win for us. Yeah. And yeah, also you said they'll be doing Bible studies, like who's the mm -hmm. dog in this story, who's the cat mm -hmm. in the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you've challenged them to disciple others as well. Yes. When they go back to school, get one more person because I showed them with the illustration David has been sharing. If you do it by yourself, you will take much longer. But if you disciple one person and this person disciple other people, if we go two by two, two by two, by the end of it all, we have grown in numbers and the word of God will have been spread and discipleship will continue.